Hi everybody, Rich here from SHTF and Go. I um, want to do a little educational video here because we have a lot of people that ask us what's the difference between all the different filters that are out there and and what makes one better for a, you know for a specific purpose than others. So let's just start with the different sizes and types of filters. <clears throat> A very common filter that's used uh, for DIY filters, for countertop filters like ours here, and uh, for some of the other uh, uh, systems that are out there, is, is this filter here. This is a four, called a 4-inch dome filter. Typically, um, these filters will filter down to a 0.2 to 0.5 micron range. Um, and what does that mean? Bacteria is typically in, you know, the smallest bacteria available is going to be in that 0.2 micron uh, diameter. So this physically can capture those, pro those you know, particles and uh, keep them from uh, continuing on into your supply water. Now um, <clears throat> this filter here is one of ours. This is actually has silver uh, impregnated into the ceramic and this has a maximum pore size of 0.2 microns. We want to be on the smaller side, and, uh, and that will allow us to have, obviously, cleaner water. And then the silver is, an, is a bacteriostat. I don't know if anybody's heard of that, but what that does, that inhibits bacteria from replicating, which, in effect, kills it. If you can't have bacteria duplicate, um, it just doesn't last very long. So, so that's the first filter. This is an empty dome ceramic filter. Next in our line is the ceramic filter with active carbon inside. Now this is what carbon looks like. This is a, an activated coconut charcoal, basically, is the easiest way to explain it. And the reason that's important is that charcoal has a very porous surface. So uh, small particles that make it through the ceramic and the silver, obviously, uh, get captured in charcoal. They use it in a lot of different filtering processes to uh, remove lead, uh, pesticides, volatile organic chemicals, and such. So those are the two dome filters. We, um, we also, you know, when you're using a DIY filter, like a bucket filter or something like that, uh, you're making one for your home or family, um, a lot of times, uh, you know, people will use these pre-filter socks. Now this is actually a 10 micron sock. So what that means, this is 0.2 microns, this is 10. This captures all the big particles so that you don't plug up your 0.2 micron filter. So it's just an extra you know, piece that can slide right over and then you can tie the string around the bottom. But um, that's very useful when you're using surface water, uh, lake, river, any freshwater sources. Next in our lineup, we move into the candle style filters. These are seven inch candles. This is a silver impregnated 7 inch candle with active carbon. I don't know if you can hear that inside, but active carbon inside. Next in our line, this is 0.2 microns. Next in our line is a 0.2 micron called a carbon black. Now, the difference between these two filters, this is 0.2 micron, 0.2 micron. This filter is better at removing lead, heavy metals, volatile organic chemicals. It has the carbon impregnated along with the silver into the ceramic, and then has active carbon inside. Now these filters are good for you know up to about 2,000, 3,000 gallons as long as you maintain them and clean them often. Um, you get into the larger filters like this filter here is a 10 inch silver ceramic with active carbon inside. Next we move into a 10 inch black carbon. Now you'll notice. This is probably a little, little unique to most people. You see the cap on the top and the bottom. That's mainly just so we can get more carbon inside, and this filter has a more even internal surface. It's just a higher quality filter. We use this filter to replace a lot of Berkey filters, because Berkey filters are 0.2 micron. Um, and uh, it's kind of interesting that a lot of people say, well, Berkey removes virus. No, it doesn't. They say, they tell you that. That's where a lot of the misinformation comes in. 0.2 microns is a hundred times larger than virus size. Virus is 0.02 microns as an average. Some viruses are larger, up to about point, you know, 0.02 to 0.08. 
Uh, some of that range uh, is like most of the stuff, the pathogens that actually damage uh, people. Um, you know, hepatitis A is in that 0 .04 range. So that gives, kind of gives you an idea. Now this is a unique filter here. Now we can't use this filter for gravity because the pore size is so small. But this filter is a ceramic filter that is, uh, that is um, I'm sorry, is a, uh, called an ultrafiltration filter that is wrapped in ceramic. So it's a 0.2 micron exterior and inside is 0.01 micron. So this filter can in fact remove virus. But the issue with these, you can't use it in a gravity system. You need pressure, you need a pump or something to push water through a filter like this. So this is, uh, just gives you guys an idea of how all this stuff works. You know, in our countertop system that we, uh, we ship around the world, um, this uses that, uh, that you know, active carbon ceramic dome filter that's in there. And you can actually kind of see it dripping. But um, in some of our products, you know, we have uh, addressed the virus issue through electronic means. Our system here actually uses UVC, UV light, uh, in a certain wavelength from 180 to 100, uh, 250 nanometers, actually sterilizes pathogens, virus, uh, bacteria, and uh, it won't allow them to replicate, it won't allow them to duplicate. So that actually handles virus uh, particles in this system. So we're able to, uh, to filter out the heavy particles, the lead, everything from the main filter, and then address uh, anything that might have slipped through that filter we can address in the lower uh, container. Okay, and then in one of our other products, this is actually our, uh, our Gravity Well Ultra is the product name on our website. But this is a, an emergency filter that folds up, uh, everything collapses down into a small side, but this also has the UV light system that's inside. So it's just a rechargeable uh, uh, UV light that is rechargeable by a USB plug. And once you hit this button and turn it on, it runs for 15 minutes automatically and shuts down. That allows you to sterilize any of the particles that didn't make it through uh, the ceramic filters. Now you'll notice this unit actually has three ceramic filters in our Ultra, just so that you have high uh, water flow. And also uh, we have an, uh, uh, an option that you can add a little uh, air pump to it, because these containers actually lock. They lock down and seal airtight, and you can plug this into a, a solar charger. Uh, into a little battery or just run it off of a wall uh, USB charger and uh, it'll pressurize this and this thing can make it'll it'll clear out three and a half gallons of water in about 20 minutes so it's one of the fastest water production systems out there but anyway just wanted to touch on all the different um, uh, filters and how they work um, obviously we have our do-it-yourself kits that you've uh, that, that are very popular people see um, that comes with the ceramic filter. Um, either one of these is an option. You can get it with active carbon or just empty. And it comes with a pre-filter sock, a little nozzle, and a scrubby pad so that you can actually maintain the filter and clean it up once it gets really dirty so you can increase water flow again. But, uh, but uh, that's, that's how they all work, guys. And if you have any questions, uh, you can shoot us an email through our website or just drop a comment on the video. Thanks for watching.